Hi, we're group one for the Mechanical Design 2 class. My name is Kevin Gregorio. Marisol Contreras. And I'm Carlos Sosa. And for this uh, project, we'll be presenting uh, our speed reducing gearbox. Thank you. The objective of this project was to send a gearbox at an input speed of 1500 RPM, an output speed of 125 RPM, at a maximum of 2 horsepower, could operate at room temperature, and could be easily adaptable to any system, as well as have the input gear and the output gear spinning in the same direction. Uh, we also needed it to have as small volume and weight as possible, and be able to withstand high precision applications as well as endure light shocks. Continue with the presentation, I'm going to talk about the leisure surface. We have two different styles of gear. So the stand size A42B and the speed reducer gearbox. So the similarity we present is the bearing type is bold. Um, the ratio is 12-1. The number of stage is different between 2 and 1. And another important thing is the price range of the design gearbox. Uh, the first one is value in $1,059.85, and the second one is $829. So to come up with a conceptual design, the velocity ratio was first calculated by dividing the input RPM over the output RPM. This came out to be a 12 to 1 ratio. Uh, the gearbox was desired to be designed using just one speed reduction, so the use of spur gears was not possible. However, the speed reduction of 12 to 1 is possible using a pair of helical gears. So our plan was to use four gears, helical gears, so that it would turn the larger gear, be connected to a smaller gear, as we can see here, and then that would turn the larger gear again and it would be aligned with the same shaft, turning in the same direction. Uh, the uh, advantages of using helical gears is that they connect in parallel shafts and will run more smoothly and quietly. They have a greater load carrying capacity and have a greater contact ratio than spur gears. Here's a drawing of a final gearbox design. It consists of eight different parts, four helical gears, shafts, bearings, the enclosure, and the socket screws. Over here you can see the final assembly and, and you can see how the input and output shafts and helical gears all align. The final design of the gearbox was based on gear selection procedures of the Boston Gear Catalog. The gears that were selected were as follows. Gears 1 and 2 had an 8 diametral pitch with 12 teeth and gear 2 and 4 had 8 diametral pitch with 32 teeth. Once the gears were selected, atmospheric stress and strength was calculated to see the fact the forces that are being exhibited. Based on these factors, appropriate bearings and shafts were selected. Here you can see the gears, drawings of the gears that we used, and over here you can see the shafts, bearings, and socket screws that were used. The drawings here show the overall dimensions of all the gearbox units. The gearbox will experience an input torque of 84.03 pounds and output a torque of 1,008.4 pounds. In regards to the mass properties, the final gearbox design has a weight of 51.54 pounds and a volume of 182.78 cubic inches. Here are mechanical drawings and here is a rendered picture of our gearbox assembly. Here we have a breakdown of the total cost of the gearbox. Uh, as we can see here, the most expensive items were the gears themselves, followed by the casing and support system and the bearings. Uh, the final price of the gearbox system comes out to approximately $829. This seems like a reasonable price as other uh, speed reducing gearboxes in the market with similar specs are within the $600 to $1,200 range. There are many different applications that a gearbox can be implemented into. For example, it can be implemented into wheelchairs, fail-safe brakes, and forklifts. In conclusion, we were able to successfully build a gearbox using the Boston Gear Catalog. A compound reverted gear train was, was designed using four helical gears, two of which had 12 teeth and the other two had 32 teeth. Here is a, 
our final rendering video of our gearbox assembly with the enclosure and the force paint chemical gears. Thank you.